All right, so we're going to take a look here at placement groups. So placement groups let you choose the logical placement of your instances to optimize for communication, performance, or durability. And placement groups are absolutely free and they're optional. You do not have to launch your EC2 instance in within a placement group, but you do get some benefits uh, based on your use case. So let's first look at clustered. So cluster packs instances close together inside an AZ. Uh, and uh, they're good for low latency network performance for tightly coupled node to node communication. So when you want servers to be really close together, so communication super fast, and they're well suited for high performance computing HPC applications, but clusters cannot be multi AZ. All right. Then you have partitions. And so partitions spread instances across logical partitions. Each partition uh, uh, does not share the underlying hardware. So they're actually running on individual racks here for each partition. They're well suited for large distributed and replicated workloads uh, such as Hadoop, Cassandra, and Kafka because these uh, technologies use partitions and now we have physical partitions. So that makes a total sense there. Then you have spread. And so spread is when each instance is placed on a different rack. Um, and so you, uh, when you have critical instances that should be uh, kept separate from each other, um, and uh, this is the case where you'd use this, and you can spread a max of seven instances, and spreads can be multi-AZ, okay? Whereas clusters uh, are not allowed to go multi-AZ. So there you go.